Yo, yo, yo. It's trap D. You ready to exercise with me? Just take a seat and follow me. I get some advice for you. Jeez. So anyways, yeah, it's Travis D here. There's one more quick video that I gotta add before we actually start with the 15 minute exercises. And to be honest with you, are you aware of what we need to be accomplishing today? That's right, stretching, stretching. I said stretching, okay? Stretching, 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 stretching. I think stretching is very important before working out. Primarily, number one, is to avoid injury. Even doing these ab exercises, you're gonna experience some problems, especially if you're beginners, or if you had some back injuries, or some other problem areas. I want to make a quick video because according to my brother, he thinks that I make too long of videos, so I will try to keep this sweet. I said, yep, that's sweet. I'll cut everything out. You see? See, I'm cutting it out. You see how I'm cutting it out? Nope, I'm still here. But anyway, okay, I'll cut that out. Before we get started, I just want to let you know that stretching is critical to your workout. You never want to avoid it because it avoids injuries and, you know, if you end up having problems the next day, you can at least stretch some of these problem areas in hopes that uh, you will reduce some of that pain before you start working out. Even though the workouts will even be 15 minutes, you gotta be aware that that three minutes of stretching can be very critical because it'll reduce some injuries that you might be experiencing prior to working out. We'll be covering six stretches. Number one, we'll be covering the seated spinal stretch. Number two, we'll be covering the cat stretch. And number three, we'll be covering the, let me think here, I got it in my head. Number three, trust me, I'm not that smart, but I got it in my head. Number three, number three, the glute stretch. And number four, we're gonna be covering back hero. And number five, we're going to be doing the child's pose. And number six, we're going to be covering the standing forward fold with swing pose. Okay, we might as well just get started. First of all, you kind of want to be able to time yourself before we get to begin. So, uh, let me get my watch ready. Some of these ab works can really cause some back problems, so this is why I intentionally want to stretch out before doing any type of ab work regardless because you know I've had some back problems before and these six stretches have been very critical at least uh, keeping me motivated to work out because at a relief some of the back stress in my lower lumbar area these stretches you can do with or without shoes but I actually prefer without them so the first one we are going to cover is the seated spinal stretch and this is you know this is a really good stretch uh, to work out the lower lumbar area. So what you want to do is you want to, uh, this is probably a better view, so you want to lift the back leg, okay? Kind of at a 45 degree angle. Grab your right, if you lift your left leg, you want to grab with your left hand underneath your left leg, grab the right ankle, and you want to pull it through. Take the right hand on your left ankle, and keep it close to your left thigh. So what we'll do here is you want to lift your right hand up and then stick your outside of your elbow on the left side of your thigh and then you want to pull back for about, we'll do this for about 20 seconds. So with your right arm you want to push to the right while you swing your neck back and this should really stretch out the back area. You want to keep it kind of taut to kind of really stretch that area so we can kind of reduce some of those problem areas. All right, that's probably good enough. So next we will do the opposite arm. I'll switch this way. So you want to uh, put your right thigh at a 45 degree angle, okay? Right hand underneath your leg, grab it with your uh, left ankle, swing it through with your left hand Grab your right ankle, keep it taut to your thigh, or your right thigh. So you want to put your right arm back, left arm up, and tuck your arm on the outside of your right leg. So you want to push, push to the left. Kind of like you're pushing away your thigh with your left hand. You want to swing your body back. You want to keep uh, keep that taunt for 20 seconds. All right, that's good. Okay, the next stretch is the cat stretch. So what you want to do is get the, on your knees, hands kind of at a 90 degree angle. And if you notice, there's one way to do it. First, you want to lift your back up for 20 seconds. So we'll leave that taunt for about 20 seconds. 
Now it's very critical that you don't overstretch because you know that can also increase some of the injuries. You just got to be very careful to know where your um, where your extremes are. You don't want to try to go over that. So uh, yeah, that seems good. Now reverse it by stretching it out. You actually might feel it in the uh, lumbar area because I can definitely feel it up there. You kind of want to lift your neck up. If you feel that there's certain areas that you rather work out, um, this workout is specifically for stretching out your back. So it's primarily important that you understand that these stretches are for your back. That's good. So the next stretch is the glute stretch. You want to get on your back, okay? Lay flat, okay? What you want to do is lift your left leg up, put it on your right thigh, left hand right between the area of your thigh, and your right hand on the outside of your right thigh and you want to push forward. You'll definitely feel this in the glute area. I think I definitely feel it in the, the kind of the hamstring area. So uh, I think this is pretty critical help to stretch out you know part of the lower area between the lumbar and the glute. So we'll hold that for about 20 seconds. Okay, time to relax. Next hand, or next leg, place that on the left thigh. Right hand between the whole left hand on the outside of your thigh. Start pushing it forward. As close to your chest as possible. You want to keep that really taut. That will really stretch out this area. If you do a lot of weights... One of the things you will notice is that you might start having some back problems or really tight areas. So stretching out this lower back is very critical if you do abdominal and cardio workouts that focus, you know, on the core area. Okay. Next one we're going to be doing is the back hero. So you want to get on your knees. Okay. Pull forward. And left, left hand, or I guess... Uh, you want to get the bottom of your hands or your wrist on the back and I actually recommend um, putting your hands forward what we want to do is try to you know bend backwards as far as you can go as you kind of just you know let your back swing down with gravity now that's really critical is that you know some people have limits here and you can't go all the way but it's actually recommended when you are able to stretch a little bit more to try to go down all the way and as you bring your hands forward you can get on to your elbows and as you go get more um, flexible you can go down all the way so we'll hold this for about 20 seconds now this can definitely get the quad areas I think definitely feel that there alright that's good <laughs> okay the fist stretch is really simple this is called the child pose kinda wanna get on your knees Hands straight at a 90 degree angle. Um, take a seat. And then you just want to push your arms forward. You can actually place your hand on each of them if you like. Just pull forward. This is kind of a resting stance. This is actually really critical if you're really tired during a workout. Intense workouts. This is really found. This is actually found on uh, PN90X pretty frequently, especially during. Uh, a lot of the intense cardio workouts as well as the, mus uh, the muscle building uh, exercise that Tony Horton accomplishes. So we'll hold this for about 20 seconds. Okay, that's good. So next we'll be covering the standing forward fold with swing pose. So basically you want to stand straight. Okay, stand straight. Legs about 24 inches apart. Hands up, back straight. Fold forward, let your hands drop to the floor if you can. If you cannot grab them, you can always grab your ankles. Now the swing here, the standing forward fold uh, swing can be really critical for your back and kind of, this is a ballistic stretch. So basically, um, you want to fold your arms between your biceps and swing to the right and left. You probably want to do this 20 to 30 seconds, you can feel this in your um, your gastrocnemius as well as uh, your your back. I actually feel them more in my lower legs. So, all right. So it's important 
as I stated, stretch before you uh, accomplish your workout. But anyways, I end this session here. It is noted that, you know, you know kind of brisk through them, but if you have any problem areas, these six stretches are very critical. I, I picked and choose them from the the workout routines on the on what I liked from Tony Hortons. I felt perf really good justice with my back, you know. I'm not hunching over like this no more. I'm kind of just uh, able to work out before I do anything. So, it is duly noted. Before we go on, stretch before you work out and life will be good. Alright, take care folks. I hope you guys are motivated to work out. Alright, take care. Travis T. signing off. Bye.